Tinnitus Retraining Therapy, How Does It Work? In this video, I will explain about tinnitus retraining therapy and how this method helps people with tinnitus. But before I go to the nitty gritty, I have to declare the most basic definition that you need to understand. Tinnitus is not a disease. This is really crucial because a lot of people believe that they can't get rid of tinnitus. And this thought has blocked so many tinnitus sufferers from curing themselves of their misery. To accept that tinnitus is not a disease, you need to understand the Jastrobov model. If you grasp this model very well, then your first step to relieving yourself from tinnitus is done. But in this video, we are not going to talk about the Jastrobov model. Instead, I will explain about tinnitus retraining therapy in its simplest form. To make the method reaches the highest result, it is advisable to undergo tinnitus retraining therapy with an experienced therapist. But those who are trained in tinnitus retraining therapy are very few and will cost you much. First thing first, your ear has to be examined by an ENT specialist. At a very minimum, a tinnitus sufferer must have a pure tone audiogram, loudness discomfort levels, and an impedance audiogram to make sure that the middle ear function is normal. If your impedance measurements are normal you do not have a problem with sinus affecting the ear. The most essential part of retraining therapy is sound enrichment. And the most difficult task is to choose the proper sound to be present in the background throughout the day. One thing that may surprise you, you have to avoid silence at all costs. It's clearly not easy to do this for some patients. The best sound to enrich your environment is natural sound. Chirping birds or drizzle will do the job. Don't choose irritating sound. It's really important that the sounds do not cover the tinnitus when it's coming. One piece of advice to remember is never to use earplugs. It has been proven that the use of earplugs actually increases the sensitivity in the central auditory system which makes external sounds become louder. Earplugs can only be worn when the noise level is harmful such as the sound of an airplane at an airport. There are a lot of videos on YouTube which show the sound of nature such as rain or sea. You can use these videos as your background sound. Retraining Therapy, The 10 Second Exercise 1. For 10 seconds, test your reaction to tinnitus or unpleasant external sounds, in decreased sound level. 2. Practice relaxations to reduce your anxiety. If you don't succeed in the first attempt, don't worry you can try it later, until you can manage your stress very well. 3. Use sound enrichment to minimize the impact of tinnitus. 4. You must know your emotional and body reaction to tinnitus and lower it little by little. This process will take time and you have to be patient. Do this exercise for only 10 seconds in order to maintain your good mood. In the beginning, it's enough to practice this exercise 10 times a day. And it's okay, if in the rest of the day you're still getting annoyed with the sound. The object of the exercise is to minimize your dislike reaction to the sound. And it's important to realize that you don't need to do this process in an excessive way. The progress has to be very slow and acceptable by your body both mentally and physically. The retraining process may take 18 months or more. 5. If you learn the Jastrobov model, then you know exactly that positive thinking is a must. 6. These exercises are a slow process. After you do it in 10 seconds, you can increase the period by minutes and so on until you can master this exercise and apply it in your daily habit. If you feel that by doing these exercises your awareness of tinnitus is lessened down, then you are on the right track. If you want to know more about how to get rid of tinnitus, you can check the link on the description.